I'm back now with our series Money Matters, part of our collaboration with CNBC Select. And this morning, we're talking about all types of insurance and how to find the right coverage for you. So we brought in CNBC Select contributor, Brittany Jones Cooper. She's here to help us out. Good to have you back. Good morning, Craig. Welcome, welcome. So yeah. car insurance, in all but two states, you have to yes. have car insurance. That's New Hampshire and Virginia. Yeah. And as we know, car insurance can be, it can be pretty expensive. So what should folks be doing in terms of looking for car insurance and making sure they're getting the best deal? Yeah, well, most of us don't look, like to look for car insurance because it's not fun. No. But most experts will suggest that you look for a new policy every year or even every six months. Oh, wow. So before your current policy is expired, you should go online, get some quotes, just compare prices. You may be surprised. Also work on your credit score because people with an excellent credit score pay on average $400 less per year for hmm. full coverage than somebody with an average credit score. So you can go online, get your credit score. If it's low, you can bump it up by paying your bills on time. You can even sign up for services that let you auto pay your rent. So you're never paying it late and that like up your credit score. That's pretty for good. Sure. Yeah, it's really wow. amazing. And then also consider the coverage. If you have an older car, maybe you don't need full coverage with all the bells and whistles. You want to make sure that those premiums aren't adding up to more than the value of your actual car, mm. right? And then look for those discounts, two that I really love. If you're a student driver and you have good grades, mm -hmm. maybe you have a 3.0 or higher, higher insurance will give you a discount for that. And fun fact, did you know that if you install an anti-theft system in your car. Oh, that can save you money. A car loan. Oh, yeah, okay. who knew? Oh. All right, oh, lots there's of money to, to be it. found. All right, Brittany, let's talk about where you live, whether it's homeowner's insurance or if you're a renter. Also, yeah. it seems like it's getting harder and harder in some places to it insure is. your home. Yeah. The first step is to know what you have because when it's that personal property coverage, they're going to pay or reimburse you for your damaged items. Mm. So you have to know what you mm. have. So go through, make a list of your belongings and how much they cost. That will dictate how much coverage you need. But when you're looking at plans, don't assume coverage because mm -hmm. a lot of them don't include important things like flood and earthquake coverage, which depending on where you, where you live, live, you know, can be really dangerous. So you want to look Absolutely. into that. And renters know that the insurance isn't paying to um, protect the house, that you're paying to protect your stuff. Yes. So again, so make important. a list of your possessions and get that coverage. Also know that sometimes fire and theft isn't included. Mm. So you should look for that Ooh, as well. To check it um, and if you're looking to save money, bundle. Mm. If you put your life insurance and your homeowner's insurance together, sometimes you can save a little money. There you go. Great tips. All right, Brittany, uh, travel now is through the roof. What, yeah, you, mm -hmm. When you're booking your flights and your hotels and there's usually that little check box yeah. about travel insurance, do we need travel insurance? You know, this is a very debated, hot debated issue. I mean, I talked to our editors and producers. The consensus mm. in, is in this post-pandemic era, you should look into it. There's options. A lot of airlines will offer a refundable ticket. This costs more, sometimes a lot more, mm -hmm. but if you're looking for flexibility, it could be what you need. You can also get travel insurance. That will cost 4 to 10% of your total travel costs. So my suggestion is weigh that against the refundable ticket mm -hmm. and just choose whichever one is cheaper, right? And then um, get coverage for the, the things that you ever, sorry, get coverage for everything that you need, right. for sure. So just look into that. And what about cruise insurance? Yeah, cruise insurance is one that I highly recommend because it's usually pretty affordable mm -hmm. and it covers everything from delays to mechanical issues. So definitely. What about if like you're, you're, you're flying to the location to get the cruise and your flight's canceled oh. and you miss the cruise? Does that insurance So that's that? where something where like the overall travel insurance would be better because mm -hmm. they're going to take 4 to 10% of your overall costs. Yeah, and so you also say look at your credit card because there might be absolutely. some benefits. Absolutely. A lot of them have these great travel mm -hmm. perks, but they also have insurances and reimbursements for cancellations and delays. So check that out before you buy additional coverage. All right. One that makes people kind of laugh and think, oh, <laughs> why do I need pet insurance? But our, uh, we've got an older uh, puppy yeah. now, and I wish we had done that. This is a hot button one, too. People really disagree on this, so I'm just going to give you some things to think about. Okay. It does pay to insure your pet when they're young and healthy. Right. Because like humans, insurance companies will not cover pre-existing conditions. So if you insure your pet when they're younger, your policy mm -hmm. will ultimately cover more. But it's not going to cover everything. Remember, right you're probably only going to be reimbursed for like 80 to 90 percent. Kind of like your own bills. insurance. Exactly. So you're still going to have to have money aside for those remaining costs. Um, if you're on the fence, though, consider something like an accident only policy. Oh. Uh, we talked to CM, our CNBC Select actually talked to a vet, said most people actually struggle with uh, paying for those unexpected accidental mm. things. And so that will give you the coverage you need without breaking the bank. Oh, good advice. Oh, nice. yeah. Great. Great. Thank, Great you, Thank, Thank you, Brittany. I love our I'm surprised Pepper's not insured. You know, we didn't, we weren't thinking about it, you know, and then because she was a 
puppy. You yeah. know, and, and, and literally, you know, now she's getting a little older, just like all of us. And those medical <laughs> yeah. bills are expensive. They are. They saved yeah. us a lot, for Thank sure. Thank you, Brittany Jones Cooper from CNBC. By the way, uh, for more information on all of the financial tips that she just shared with you, you can go to CNBC.com slash select. It's CNBC.com slash select. We should note that CNBC may get a commission for purchases made through links on our website. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.